ministry. Welcome to Welcome to Sunday School. Today we're going to start off with a little activity that I've set up for Levi and Charlotte. Then they don't know about it yet, okay? So here we go. Levi, Charlotte, come on in. Okay, so the activity. Okay, so there's lots of food. Okay, guys. You want to say hi to our friends? Hello. Okay, step back here. They can see. My mom's gonna be really tricky this time, so I do not know. Okay, so mm -hmm. I've got something for you guys in my pockets. What is it? That's a gift. $20. Yes. You get $20? Don't touch it, okay? Wait, do I actually get $20? And you get $20. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Now with this $20, I've set up a shop and you can buy anything in this shop. Okay? Okay. I so I want you to look and choose carefully. Take a look. I don't want to waste my money on this. What did you say, Charlotte? I don't want to waste my money. You don't want to waste your money. Yeah, me too. Because we I only did. have one dollar left. Like one twenty dollars. Okay. Okay, this just carefully. Because it's a whole bunch. No, we don't get the whole thing, do we? Yeah. Oh, like a merry-go-round. Um, that makes me sick. Um, what are you guys deciding on? I don't know. This is all very wait, small. Wait, if we get this, do we get the whole thing? Uh huh. Okay, I'm buying this. Okay. <laughs> You guys made your decisions? Yes. Wait, okay. do we have to buy something? What do you mean? Do you have to buy something? In the shop? Do we have to buy something? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, you could save it, but then you don't get anything. Yeah, yeah. Today. Sure. I'm going to save. I'm going to save. Yeah, because this is actually ours. No, if, we, like, if you save, you can get something better next time, so I'm saving. Okay, but for the purposes of today, you have to pick something. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh great, my money. <laughs> Fire. I want my money. Okay, did you guys pick? Yeah. yeah okay, Charlotte, why did you pick this one? Because it can make music and it has cookies in it. Okay. And Levi, you picked that one? Why did you pick that one? Because then I can never run out. Okay. Well, so, these... Charlotte, this, and Levi, this, is going to cost you everything you have. All $20. You still want it? No. Same. Sorry. Like, wait, no, we waste our $20. Yeah. And everything in our room. No. Just, just the $20. Okay, good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm saving. Okay. How about mm. you, Charlotte? Um, it makes music and there's lots of snacks inside. <laughs> Can you do a trade for this? No, you gotta trade your $20. Okay. Mm. All right, here we go. <laughs> Levi, you're not gonna trade? No, save okay. it. If you okay. save up, you can buy something bigger or better. Sometimes. Well, well, these are actually ours, so I would actually <laughs> save it. Okay. <sighs> Thank you for helping. A cost, what Levi and Charlotte had to pay for these items is the cost of the item. And a cost is the amount that you have to give up in order to gain something new. <laughs> yeah. And so Charlotte had to pay a cost of $20 for this musical <laughs> biscuit. I get it. Tim. <laughs> was, it hard, was it hard to give up everything you had? Yeah. Yeah, because that's a lot. And Charlotte, you asked me earlier, do I mean everything you own, like everything in your room? Would you have given up all of that for no, this? No, no. No. I would have not. Would I, would, I, would, I would just be on the streets. You I would not. <laughs> well, 
Today in our Sunday school lesson, we learn about how Jesus talks about something that is going to cost you everything you have. But this thing that Jesus talks about is worth it. Can okay. we find out what that is? Do you yeah, guys have any guesses on what that could be? This is not worth it. This is not worth it. That's okay. This is not worth it. Yeah, but today we're going to learn about a cost that is worth it. Worth everything you have and Jesus is going to talk about that. You guys ready? Okay. Bye. Bye. Follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. Cross friends, it's me, Megan, and I'm Jessie. Jessie, how was your class at church this morning? Oh, it was so fun, Megan. We learned from the Bible and we played Follow the Leader. Oh, that is a fun game. Did you get a turn at being the leader? Oh yeah, I marched and clapped and laid my arms and patted my tummy and everyone had to do what I was doing because I was the leader. <laughs> wow, did you do all that at one time? That sounds really hard. Oh no, I did one thing at a time. Okay, good. In today's Bible story, Jesus talked about what it is like to follow him. Oh, cool. So, when we follow Jesus, we do what he does? Yep. And it's not always easy, but it is always worth it. Listen to the story. Many people wanted to follow Jesus. Large crowds followed him around. One man said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus told the man, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lie down. Another disciple said, Lord, I will follow you, but first let me go and bury my father. Jesus replied, Follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. Jesus told the crowds that following him would not be easy. Anyone who comes to me must be willing to leave everything, he said. You must love me most of all, more than your own life. Anyone who thinks life should be easy cannot follow me, Jesus said. Jesus wanted the people to choose carefully. He told them a story. If you wanted to build a tower, you would first sit down and see what you would need to make the tower. If you did not, you would build the foundation and could not finish. People would laugh at you. <laughs> then he told them another story. If you were a king, you would not go to war against another king without thinking about if your army is great enough to win the war. If you don't have enough men to fight, you would send some men to ask for peace before the fighting even started. Jesus wanted people to think about the cost. If you are not willing to give up everything you have, you cannot follow me, Jesus said. 
Whoever gives up his life for me will find true life. What good is it to have everything you want in the world if you give up life with God forever? Following Jesus is not easy, but he is worth it. When we trust in Jesus, we give him complete control of our lives. Jesus gave up his own life to rescue people from sin and give us life with God forever. Welcome back from your Bible lesson. As you can see, many people wanted to follow Jesus because they thought that that would make their lives easier. But in fact, Jesus taught them that following him is not easy. In fact, it can be really, really hard. When we trust in Jesus, we give him complete control over our, our lives. But he's worth it because he gives us the best gift ever. And you know what that is? Himself. <laughs> Jesus gave up his whole life to rescue people from sin and give us life with God forever. So we're going to play a little game. It's called Mirror Mirror. And in this game, we were going to copy or follow along with our partner. So why don't you pause this video and find yourself a partner? Here we go. Okay, guys, so we're going to play Mirror Mirror, where you follow the leader, okay? And follow okay. the actions of the leader like you're a mirror. So you grab a partner. Levi and Charlotte will be partners. Okay. <laughs> Plus you will now. <laughs> Levi, you will start by being the leader. Okay. And Charlotte, you will be the mirror. So you have to copy everything Levi does okay. as best as you can. Here you go. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Keep going. Nice. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got a little tricky there. But more practice, I bet you could do it. Okay, this time, you're going to trade partners. So Charlotte, you will be the leader. <laughs> and Levi, you will be the mirror. Okay? okay. Here we go. Levi or Charlotte. Wait, like okay, this. wait. Okay, okay. Charlotte, so you do you it guys... easy for the little kids and I'll do it hard. Okay, so the big kids will follow Levi and the little kids will follow Charlotte, okay? okay. And they'll be your mirror. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, gosh. They can't even see you do that. Oh, they can't? Yeah. Oh, they can't? Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. I'm stuck in a box. <laughs> Mom, help me. I'm stuck in this invisible box, like prison. If you're if you're mine, you can't talk. You sh you should know that. <laughs> Good job. Did you guys have fun playing mirror mirror? <laughs> Try this throughout the Please week, come here. and maybe you'll get better and better at it as you play this <laughs> game. Thanks for helping, guys. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Did you guys have fun playing mirror mirror? Was it difficult to be the mirror and follow the leader's actions? You know, sometimes it gets easier. A game gets easier the more and more you do it. So I bet that it became easier the more you played. And that's just like Jesus. Following Jesus is not easy. And it sometimes can be really, really hard. But the more and more and longer and longer you follow Jesus, you become more and more like him and it becomes easier and easier. So following Jesus is not easy, but it's worth it. All right, now it's time for our discussion questions. And I'm not sure if you remember, but last week I introduced our big picture question for the unit. And that question was, what did Jesus teach when he was here on earth? Do you, any of you guys remember? Jesus taught about God and God's kingdom. 
And so even though it's difficult and not easy to follow Jesus, it's worth it because that means we get to be a part of God's great kingdom. Okay, now I've got some discussion questions for you from this week's Bible lesson. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Question number one. Did many people want to follow Jesus? Yes, they did. Okay, question number two. Did Jesus teach that following him is easy? That's an easy one. <laughs> no, Jesus taught that following him was not easy. Question number three. Why would Jesus teach that following him is not easy? Jesus taught that following him is not easy. And he did that because he wanted people to think and choose carefully. Okay, question number four. Is following Jesus worth it? Yes? The answer is yes and always. But I'd love for you to discuss with your family right now on why you think it's worth it for you. Okay, so you can pause this video for a second if you need. But otherwise, we'll go on to question number five. What did Jesus promise to those who give up everything and follow him? For those who choose to follow Jesus, his promise is life with God forever. And finally, and this is the big picture question I started this discussion question series with, is what did Jesus teach when he was here on earth? You got it. Jesus taught about God and God's kingdom. Good job, guys. Okay, next I have an activity for us. It's called Would You Rather? And I'm going to hold up a piece of paper with two options. And you are going to think about it, take some time to think about it, and pick which one you would rather, okay? You guys ready? Okay, here we go. The first Would You Rather is... Would you rather eat a chocolate chip cookie or an ice cream cone? Which one would you rather? Chocolate chip cookie or ice cream cone? <laughs> I think I've got, I've got ones for both. Okay, here we go, next one. Would you rather have, as a friend, a unicorn or a robot? Which one would you choose to have as a friend? Unicorn or rainbow? I mean, robot. Should I say rainbow? I meant robot. <laughs> okay, next one. Would you rather be super fast or super strong? Super fast? Shoo! Or super strong? What do you think? Okay, all right. Here we go, what's next? Would you rather go skiing? Shoo, shoo, shoo. Or swimming? What would you rather do? Go skiing or go swimming? Okay, okay. And finally, the last one. You ready? Would you rather have a pet dog or cat? Are you team dog or team kitty cat? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that little would you rather activity. And you know, sometimes as we live this life, we have to choose between what's in the world and what Jesus wants from us. And sometimes we have to give up some good things that we enjoy so that we can get something better. And my friends, Jesus is always the better choice, even if we have to give up the whole world. And Jesus taught him, taught us that following him is not easy, but it's worth it because he gives us a life with God forever. 
And there's actually a story in the Bible called the parable that talks about how giving up everything you have is worth it when it's for Jesus in the kingdom of God. Okay, and this parable is called the parable of the pearl. And I would love for you and your family to read it sometime this week. It's in the book of Matthew, Matthew 13, verses 45 to 46 specifically. And so take some time to read that uh, before you do this craft, okay? And then after that, you can come on back and watch this craft where we are going to make our own pearl shell, okay? Let's go. All right, so for our craft for this week, we are going to make an oyster shell with a pearl in it to remind us of the parable of the pearl where the man gives up all of his belongings for the one pearl which represents the kingdom of God, okay? So you're gonna take a piece of uh, round paper or a paper plate like I have and you're gonna fold it in half, okay? Just like this. And then you're gonna cut the two corners so that you can have a sh the shape of a shell. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I cut it just like that. So it's kind of like a shell. And it opens like this. Okay. And then, once you've cut it, you guys can decorate it, the outside and inside, as you please. Okay, so get some markers, stickers, whatever you want, and decorate your shell. Okay, and I'll go ahead and do that too. Okay, did you all decorate your shells? Let me see. Ooh, it looks nice. And you know, if you look in our crafts kit, there's lots of little jewels and gems and beads. Those would be really great for the front of the shell. I didn't have any, but you could go and stick on all those gems here so it's nice and sparkly. That'd be really pretty. Okay, so here's mine. And I've gone ahead and decorated the inside. I put a rainbow and I put a little pad where I'm gonna put the pearl, but I think a great idea would be to get a piece of tissue paper and glue it right on there so it's a nice little bed for the pearl, okay? So once you have that done, you're gonna grab your pearl. You can use whatever circular, possibly white thing you have. You could like a pom-pom, okay? I'm going to use a ping-pong because I happen to have one. Okay, and you're gonna stick it right onto your little landing pad for your pearl. Let's see, there you go. An oyster shell with a pearl in it. And this is to remind us of the parable of the great pearl. Okay. And if you have yet to read it, I encourage you to read it this evening for bedtime. Okay? And that is your craft for this week. I've added another craft slash activity idea in your weekly lesson plans, and that is where you bake, or actually it's a non-bake, you make pearl shell cookies. So they look like a pearl shell just like this, but you can eat them. So that recipe, which is again non-bake actually, uh, in your weekly lesson plan. And if you make any of these things, I would love to see, so send me your pictures. All right, I hope you enjoyed this week's Sunday School. I'm so glad to be back with you for this new year of learning about the New Testament and all that Jesus did while he was here on earth. Okay, so we're gonna close off in prayer like we normally do, but this time it's gonna be a little bit more special because we are going to learn the Lord's Prayer. And I know some of you might know it already, but this will be a great way for us to, as a group, learn the Lord's Prayer. And you know what? In the big kids, your parents' Sunday school, which is called the worship service, they are also learning about the Lord's Prayer. So we are going to take eight weeks to learn the Lord's Prayer just to, like your parents are doing along with them. Okay, so for today, we're going to learn just the very beginning. And if you look in your Bibles, okay, in Luke 11, I'm gonna read a little bit of it. It says, Jesus teaching on prayer. So Jesus himself is teaching his disciples how to pray. Because sometimes we're not quite sure how we should pray. 
And it says, One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. And he said to them, When you pray, say this. And he introduced what's called the Lord's Prayer. And we're going to get more into that Lord's Prayer uh, starting next week. And we're going to learn it line by line, okay? So with that, I'm going to close us off in our prayer. Father God, thank you so much for this opportunity to learn about you and what it means to follow you. And we know that uh, being your disciple and being your beloved child and trying to be more like you is not easy sometimes. Following the ways of Jesus is not easy. But we know that we're able to accomplish this task because you love us and you are almighty and are all powerful and will help us along. So Father, I pray for our children as they continue to seek you and be more like you and follow you. May you help them and may you reveal to them and may you mirror uh, yourself in them, Father. I pray that as over the next few weeks as we learn about what it means to pray and how to pray that you be with us and you breathe these prayers into the mouths of each and every child in our ministry and beyond father thank you so much for this community that we have and for this opportunity to be able to learn your word together uh, even in this strange time and uh, online but father we we thank you for the blessings that we have, the blessings of technology and the blessings of our parents who are willing to help us in, in this learning and being able to engage as a family. So in Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you guys next week. They will show more, she Jesus says. Blessed are you, heart. For they will see God, Jesus says. Mm -hmm. Blessed are peacemakers. They are called God's children, Jesus says. Blessed are those who hold my white. Kingdom of heaven is there, Jesus says.